you'll need a service account. Go to settings and service accounts and click on add account. Name it. And then assign a role. It doesn't need to be a super user. Copy both the key ID and the secret and close. Then go to the documentation site. Under continuous, uh, under administration, you'll find continuous compliance notifications. And then find creative and art channel connection. Paste the service account ID and then the secret in the authentication fields. And then jump to Google's uh, event art channels. Give a, um, create a new channel and give it a name. Select Cl checkpoint cloud guard for the provider. Set the region and then hit, uh, and then hit create. Once it's complete, copy the channel full name and the activation token. And then jump back to the Cloud Guard docs, create an event arc channel connection, and um, paste the channel full name and the activation token into the respective fields. Then over to the right, be sure the language says either curl or HTTP, and then look below the box of code and hit the try it button. And this will return a channel ID below in the response. Copy that ID and then go to continuous compliance notification post and enter a name. Yeah, continuous compliance post. Then enter a name. Under the change detection object, select EventArc integration state enabled. Then go to EventArc data object. Paste the channel ID into the channel connection ID field. And then hit the try it button. If it's successful, it'll return a 201 or 200. And there you go. So then jump back to the Infinity Portal and click on either the notifications or the continuous compliance. Set up a, a new policy. Select uh, Cloud Guard uh, Best Practices. Add a notification and, and from the list, and that should be your new notification you created. And you're all set. That's all there is to it. You'll be now getting uh, notifications set forwarded to your, or actually uh, findings forwarded to your event arc.